हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फाइल हैंडलिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट अ फाइल अ फाइल इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ डेटा और इंफॉर्मेशन फाइल इज परमानेंट स्टोरेज लोकेशन ऑफ डेटा वी कैन क्रिएट एनी नंबर ऑफ फाइल्स इन अ कंप्यूटर एंड ऑल दीज फाइल्स कैन बी स्टोर परमानेंटली इन साइड हार्ड डिस्क देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फाइल्स फर्स्ट इज टेक्स फाइल विच कंटेन्स डेटा इन कैरेक्टर फॉर्मेट सेकेंड वन इज बाइनरी फाइल विच स्टोर डेटा इन बाइनरी फॉर्मेट दैट इज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ जीरो एंड वन नेक्स्ट इज एक्सेस मैथड्स ऑफ फाइल्स देर आर टू एक्सेस मैथड्स आर अवेलेबल फर्स्ट इज सीक्वेंशियल एक्सेस मैथड इन दिस एक्सेस मैथड वी कैन एक्सेस डेटा स्टेप बाय स्टेप बट इन केस ऑफ रैंडम एक्सेस मैथड वी कैन पिक डिजायर डेटा रैंडमली Now let's understand the concept of file handling, which we can use in C program. A C program takes some input from the user and provides some output to the user. This input or output is displayed on console, which is temporary. So you all know, whenever we execute a program, it provides some output or it takes some input from the user, and all these input and output are displayed. on console which is temporary whenever we turn off our computer system the console automatically disappears so if we want to store that input or output of a c program permanently then an external entity such as file is linked with the c program this process is known as file handling so the file is capable to store the data permanently inside the hard disk so if we use the concept of file handling in a program then we can implement that program in a real life situation we can also understand the concept of file handling with this diagram in this diagram this is source code which when we execute this source code is automatically linked with console so why we uh, connect source code with console so that we can manage some input or output but we all know that console is a temporary location so whatever input output we generate through uh, source code will automatically disappear so if we want to store this input or output permanently then we can connect this file with our source code so that the generated input or output can be stored permanently there are lots of examples which can be uh, which we can relate with this uh, file handling process for example atm machine in atm machine we have a software which is known as source code uh, then in atm machine the screen can be uh, uh, considered as console and the results of all the transactions are permanently stored inside files uh, if we take the example of any website in website the uh, uh, the source code of a website uh, is known as a program then that source code when we execute that source code it automatically displayed on the screen of our computer or laptop or mobile when we perform any uh, operation on that website it automatically stores all the input and output inside its uh, permanent database or file when we log out from the website and log in again we automatically receives all the input output that we performed in previous operations so i hope you have uh, easily understood the concept of file handling with the help of these examples now after the concept we have to understand how we can implement file handling in c program so first statement will be declaration of file pointer for this purpose we can write the statement file then asterisk fp so when we use asterisk asterisk symbol with a variable then it becomes a pointer so here we are creating fp as a file pointer this capital file is predefined structured data type it is already defined in stdio.h because it is predefined 
so we have to write it in capital letters next we have to open a file for this purpose we can use a function which is also predefined f open it contains two arguments first one is name of the file and second one is a mode we can open a file using a particular mode we can also check uh, the example which is written below in this example f open function contains a file named as sample.txt and mode is r r stands for read so this f open f open function opens sample.txt file in read mode after a successful opening of this file it returns a pointer which which is stored inside fp so f open is a predefined function which is defined in stdio.h header file now moving further we have to discuss about different modes which are used to open a file so in this slide there are total three modes in first uh, the mode is written r it opens a file in read mode if file is not available a new file will not be created so in case of r mode we can only read the data which is stored inside an existing file because it doesn't create new file automatically next mode is w it opens a file in write mode if file is not available a new file will uh, be created automatically if file is already available its previous contents are erased the third mode is a which stands for append so it opens a file in append mode if file is not available a new file will be created automatically if file is already available its previous contents are preserved so instead of using w mode which overrides the data we can prefer a mode there are another three modes also available first one is r plus mode it opens a file in read and write modes if file is not available a new file will not be created so r plus can be said as extension of r mode similarly we have another w plus mode which is the extension of w mode it opens a file in read and write mode if file is not available a new file will be created if file is already available its previous contents are erased and last one is a plus mode it opens a file in read and write modes if file is not available a new file will be created automatically if file is already available its previous contents are preserved so there are total 6 modes we can use any one of them moving further uh, another step will be checking of errors so after opening a file using f open function we can receive two type of values first is null and second is address of a particular file if fp uh, contains null it means file is not opened successfully so uh, we can check uh, this situation using this if condition in this condition uh, uh, the statement is written fp double equals to null so if fp double equals to null this condition is true then the uh, printf statement will be uh, printed on console which says error cannot open file and if file is not opened then we can uh, use this exit statement to terminate the execution of the program this exit exit statement is declared uh, in std lib.h header file next statement will be closing a file so there are two methods to close a file first is f close fp which closes a single file second one is f close all which closes all open files now after uh, the uh, understanding of the concept of file handling we can uh, use uh, this program to uh, for better understanding of the concept 
So program one says read a number from user and store it into a file. So in this program, there are total two header files. First one is stdio.h and second one is stdlib.h. In main function, a file pointer is declared which is fp and a variable n is declared which is of integer data type. To open a file, fopen function is used. Inside fopen, a file name sample.txt is written and the file is opened in w mode which stands for writing. So we have to store a number into a file that's why we have used w mode. Then we have to check whether the file is opened successfully or not. For this purpose we can use this if condition which says if fp double equals to null then it will print an error message and terminates the execution of the program. If this condition is false then we can read a number using this printf or scanf statement from user. After successful, uh, successfully reading the number we can store that number into a file using f printf statement. So printf statement is used to display content on console whereas f printf is used to display con uh, contents into a file. So it has three arguments. First is fp file pointer, second is percent which is format specifier and third one is n which is a variable. So using fprintf we can transfer the data into a file. After this statement we can successfully close the file so that uh, all the data can be permanently transferred to the hard disk. So this program was to read a number from console and write it into a file. Next program number 2 which says read a number from file and print on console. Now we have to read a number from file. So we have to use uh, mode R. So in fopen function there is R mode is written. Again if condition is checking that whether file is opened successfully or not. Now here we have used f scanf instead of scanf because scanf can read values from console and we have to read values from file. So f scanf contains three arguments fp, f percent d and variable. fp is file pointer, percent d is format specifier and n is variable. So the number which we read from the file will be stored in n. Now we can display that number on console using printf statement and after completion we can close the file using fclose statement. So this program reads a number from file and display it on console. Friends with the help of these two uh, programs you can uh, implement uh, these three programs so that you can uh, easily understand the concept of file handling. So first program is write a program to read a number from user and calculate its factorial and store the result into a file. Uh, so uh, for this uh, program you have to open the file in w mode. Second program is write a program to read a number from file and check whether it is even or odd. In this program you have to open the file in read mode that is r. Third program says write a program to read a number from user and another number from file. Now compare them whether they are equal or not. So this program requires two inputs one from user means console and another from file. So for file you have to read, uh, you have to use R mode. So do practice of these programs so that you can better understand the concept of file handling. Thank you.